So we got AM Static, who are a local Calgary band. They were nominated for Electronic Album of the Year. We're going to have them come on. My, my wife is also very, she's very short, and she, like, never thinks about a plane. Like, we, our old house had, like, a really, really short ceiling in the basement. And she was like, oh, we can have house shows here. And I'm like, no, you can't. Everyone has to double over. But she just could, like, walk through and was, like, totally free. Come on in, guys. Come hang. Yeah. Game Boy Color, we got it all. Hello, hello. Nice to meet you. Hi. Hello. Awesome, hey, guys. Hey, hey, good to meet you. Likewise. Hey, congrats on the nom. Sit down. Can I just uh, kick it here? With, yeah, man. Oh, you're going to sit on a mic? It went, oh, it, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. The, <laughs> Take that. Hold it up against your face. Yeah. I think that's how they work. I mean, oh. or like, yeah, the, the pointy port sort of went right in the crevasse there for a second. There's no like, snare in my headphones still. No. I think. <laughs> I'm not sure why. Uh, so, guys, I mean, uh, congratulations on your nomination. You gotta take this Game Boy out of here if we're gonna have an actual conversation. Oh yeah, no, it's fine. I mean, if one of you can play the Game Boy and one of you can at least kind of talk to me, that would be good. What do we got in here? How good am I? Oh yeah, I'm gonna kill this. Uh, no yeah, yeah. So just just get into it. Uh, got it. So has it been? I, so on one hand, this is what I was thinking. I was like, a, it was probably great to be nominated for the Junos in a year when they're in your hometown. Yes. It's an opportunity to show up the city. But b, it probably is unfortunate because you don't get to travel. Like it's fun for me to be here because it's like I'm on vacation. Sure. But, like, you're just, like, at work. Well, Only at depending time. on how you feel about travel. Okay, okay. Sure. Well, at the same time, I'm a sound tech in the city, mm -hmm. and I work right downtown. So I actually parked in the exact same spot at the exact same time <laughs> that I do every week. Yeah, you know. so your life has, like, not changed at all this well, week. Well, yeah. you know, I'm pretty regimented about my routine, and to have the Junos, like, not actually break my routine at all was... A dream. Kind of the best... Best of all possible. Yeah, because if these were in, like, you know, Montreal or something, and you had to, like, go to a different city where people don't always speak English, like, that would really throw you off your game, right? Well, I, uh, from the ages of two to eight, I actually lived in Montreal. So you I could handle it. it but I love it there, <laughs> but at the same time, we're both fairly paranoid. We don't like leaving the house. And, yeah. Uh, to gain recognition from Canada in a moment uh, that also allowed us not to break our <laughs> comfort bubble at all. Yeah. It was amazing. It was a total dream, right? Yeah. That's great. What, yeah. So have you guys had an opportunity to do much? Uh, for Juno Week, go out and see anything. Like, what's what's yes. this experience been like for you guys? Uh, we were given the opportunity to play on Friday at uh, Broken City, which was a great. Yeah, show. I love Broken City. Uh, yeah, it's a great venue. We unfortunately lost um, uh, Milk and Bone due to uh, the singer losing her voice. Yeah, but we got a chance to meet them though, which yeah. was really nice. They were so awesome. But they were yeah, we had them on last night on the stream, and and it, she was like, I swear I don't normally sound like this. <laughs> And I was like, it's, was, it's a good tone. Yeah, I mean, whatever she's a works. Very, very sweet woman. Yeah. And, yeah. yeah. and you know, we understand it. Yeah. Right? Every musician here understands it. Like, you, you're gonna have to cancel a show every once in a while. If you can't sing and you're doing songs, it yeah, might be. A you can see where that, like, at some point, could be a problem, right? Yeah. 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 You're really excited about the Legend of Zelda. Eh? Yeah. Oh, huge. Get it. We both are. Oh, okay. Actually, the guy who wrote the score for this, Koji Kondo, is one of our big inspirations. Oh, okay. There we go. So this is like a theme. This is actually like sort of like a Nardwar gift almost, actually, right? Where I'm like, really I'm, doing, I'm doing research right now. I'd love to get a government grant if possible for me. Okay, so uh, Heritage Minister Melanie Jolie was here earlier. Oh my god! Uh, so you should maybe like connect with her on that and like see if you can like get that grant. Be like, look, I know you guys are putting like billions of dollars into the arts, and I think. Uh, I think you should give it to me specifically. Yeah. Well, and yeah. especially, can you perhaps give us some money to make some really, really sick music for video games? Yeah, uh, yeah. We would love that. Yeah. That seems perfectly reasonable. Yeah. That's a good request, right? Well, yeah. There are so many video game manufacturers based out of Canada, and obviously based out of Montreal right. in particular, right? So there's, it's got to be an opportunity, you know, like uh, out there for the taking, right? You just got to go to Montreal and bang on the Ubisoft doors or whatever, right? Yeah. And uh, who is it? Uh, by a subsidiary, subsidiary of uh, Bioware or an offshoot? Yeah. Um, uh, what, is, what are they called? Who just released, uh, re-released all of uh, the old uh, Dungeons and Dragons video games? Oh. Who did? Um, no, 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 no. Not Wizards of the Coast. That's that's for card games, right? Uh, who did? Um, ah, move on. Okay, so uh, this was a comment for Amstatic. We love your Juno Week live tweeting. Okay. Apparently, your Juno Week live tweeting was extremely good. Oh. So that's Fantastic. a nice, yeah. We're happy to hear it. Um, what, like, what? This is the kind of stuff, yeah, these are the updates you're getting from your friends? Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's totally what, our moms. What was your, <laughs> your mom has Catherine's phone number? That's, Apparently, yeah. Yeah, I love your tweets. Your tweets are awesome. I always, like, uh, I, I am, I am uh, blessed with extremely supportive and wonderful parents. Shout out wonderful and supportive parents. Uh, but it means, like, sometimes, like, because I, I don't, like, tweet or, like, do anything with, like, 
a, a, an audience that includes my parents in mind. And so from time to time, like they'll be like, I saw this on your Snapchat. Like that you were, I was like, oh yeah, that's right. Like I always forget that it's like, when you're live tweeting and living your life in public, that includes like basically having your parents with you all the time. Yes. Like it's, which is great. If, if you get along with your parents like I do. Yeah, sure. I, I, I would say that we get along mainly with uh, with our parents. Uh, I, I'm also lucky enough, and I think uh, Nils as well, to not have moms on Snapchat. Oh, yeah. my yes. so, so I, Facebook. I think and I'm not even on Facebook anyways, so that makes it work. Oh, so you're good. I think we made the mistake of, uh, like, recent, like recently uh, I was visiting with my folks, and we were talking a lot about Snapchat, and like how because I think Snapchat is, like, really great. Uh, and then she was like, oh, I'll make an account. So she followed, like, you know, myself and, like, my wife and everything. So now, like, you know, when I'm, you know, two in the morning, you know, like, at some dumb bar, yeah. I'm like, yeah. and then the next day when I'm like, mom, work's really stressful. Like, my life's really hard. And it's like, well, also, I could just go to sleep sometimes. Sure. And she knows now. Well, it's like giving a monkey a machine gun. You are, like, creating militant parents in a way by yeah. like giving them access to social media. Please don't call my mother a monkey again, please. No, it was a joke. It was a joke. It was a joke. I'm not. I wasn't actually offended. But they could see that you were like. Sure. Well, if he's joking, that means he's encouraging him to do it again. Yeah. No. No. That's exactly. I think it. that's how it works. Yeah. yeah I think so. Uh, do you, do you, did your parents follow your Juno Week live tweeting? Like, do you know if they were like? You know, I am sure that my mother is uh, following this online and TV. That's all. Yeah. They just followed us. They kind of went old school with it. Oh, yeah. Followed us physically. Yeah, they were just like in a car across the street, like watching. Text messages. Where like they have a bus behind like where we're driving. (laughs) Signs out the window. Yeah. Oh, that's so nice. I mean, is these? I always. uh, The one thing that I like about the Junos. The one thing is the only thing I like. Uh, (laughs) One of the many things that I like about the Junos. no, dude. Like I haven't been drinking at all because I've had to like be back here being alert. Is it? Is there we still? Are they still serving? <laughs> They're still serving. Uh, they, no. Y- I'm kidding. If you look around hard enough, I'm sure you're gonna find. I know. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm just. I'm sorry. Uh, but uh, sorry. What was? Uh, where was I going with this? Parents following you. Oh, is that oftentimes people are like, oh, it's so great. I'm here. My parents are here. Like a lot of times, being a musician, uh, especially if you're you know in a niche. Uh, you know, if you're if you're not, you know, Marianne's trench, you're not playing an arena. It can be hard to sort of contextualize it for parents unless you know they themselves were musicians. Uh, and so, oftentimes, I feel like you hear from artists who are like, when we got nominated for a Juno, it was finally like our parents were like, oh, I, I get it, because they've heard of the Junos, they kind of know what that stands for. Uh, did did this nomination sort of mean anything for your parents? Were they kind of like excited about it? Um, yeah, you know, um, for sure. I think. Um, a definition of a success in our age group is when your parents don't understand what you do fully. Yeah. When they're like, I thi- I guess you can pay your bills, but I really don't understand what you do, and especially like even in music. Yeah, but you you're know. not asking me for money, so I guess it's fine. Yeah. yeah. So so really, I think they're just proud and they're happy that we're not both still living at home. Yeah. <laughs> then it's huge. Congratulations on all your success moving out of home. Thank you. And your nomination, I guess. That's yeah. Something else. Hopefully, we'll not be back there in a year. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Guys, thank you. Your city has been a wonderful host, and. Thank Congratulations you. on your nomination. Eh? It's Thank been a pleasure. So Thank you. Thank you for coming and hanging out.